What, what up, what up, what up, it's your boy 90s man, bringing you some more news. Look at this human piece of excrement I have in this background. This guy's name is Gershon, Gerson Fuentes. He's 27 years old. He was arranged in Franklin, Franklin County, Ohio last Wednesday for raping, ladies and gentlemen, a 10-year-old girl, and that's not even the worst part, and getting her pregnant. Now, the reason why this case is in the forefront, you know, even more so than just because it's a disgusting act, is because of Roe v. Wade, and the little girl actually had to travel across state lines to abort the baby, right? So this is why the case is in the forefront in the first place, right? The Indiana Attorney General, where these people are from, named a Todd Rakita, bows, he says, to get to the bottom of how she was able to travel to out of state and actually get this abortion done, right? So he's not concerned with the little girl being raped by this filthy, disgusting animal. He's more concerned with Roe v. Wade and upholding some laws more than likely just so he can get some votes. But I don't care. Even his constituents, I guarantee you, they don't mind that this 10-year-old girl went to get an abortion from this fucking um, adult. We're talking about a 10-year-old girl here, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about a hardcore pedophile. Now, and he says he had sex with the girl only twice, as if that somehow absconds him or makes it better. Fucking trash. Right? So, the doctor who actually performed the abortion, a Caitlin Bernard, as you can see here, uh, she didn't give too much detail, but you know, of course, she's more than likely a feminine uh, activist, active uh, activist, excuse me. I'm sure she was against Roe v. Wade and it being overturned. So, what the parents more than likely did is did their homework, did their due diligence, and found someone who would actually perform the abortion, especially given the situation. She probably did it for free, for all we know. Now, in this country, 10 year old girls uh, more than likely qualify for Medicare, I'm sorry, or Medicaid. So maybe she did have the insurance for it, but that's neither here nor there. Now this guy is an illegal migrant, right? Which means he was over here illegally probably working and with the intentions of probably going back to Mexico. But as we know, a lot of people choose to stay because if you have a choice between Mexico and here, where would you stay? Let's just be real. So what I wanna know from you guys is, give me your opinions on Roe v. Wade. Do you think that Dr. Caitlin did the right thing by giving her an abortion? Are you disgusted with this damn attorney general who seems to be offended by what happened? I want to understand. Like, subscribe, hit the notification so you can hear the bell and get all my videos as they come. You guys have a good day.